you want, what's the uh, injury situation first of all? Um, Dan Gorgon is being scanned this morning, so we'll hopefully know a bit uh, more a bit later today. Wolsey will be back on the field tomorrow. Looking forward to see how, he, how he's recovered um, since his injury. Uh, Jack O'Donoghue will also be on the field later in the week, so you know, we'll just take it day by day, give guys as much time as, as we can to to make the right decisions to select a team that's all ready to go for Sunday. How big a boost would it be if Keith Earls was available? Yeah, a massive boost. Um, you know, he's part and partial of this team. He brings in such a lot of experience and you know, he's been on fire the whole year once he's been on the field. So um, you know, he's, he's looking forward to the week and hopefully he can get through training. And you know, when he ever also a part of the team, gives a lot of guys around him confidence. So it'd be great to have him if, if, he's, if he's ready to go. How beneficial was the tour, as we'll call it, to South Africa? Two wins, the only team to do that in South Africa. And we saw at the end with the celebrations of the players and indeed yourselves in the coaching box, what it meant? Yeah, well, you know, when the fixtures came out, it, it was never ideal to travel between a quarter-final and a semi-final. It wasn't something that, that we could control. You know, you had to, to win a quarter-final to, to be in that position. We used it as, as a massive positive. You know, we said we needed balance on the tour. You don't go on, on tours these days this much. So we bonded as a squad at some time to sit around the dinner table and get to know each other a lot better. But we also trained really hard. Um, we trained smartly. Um, you know, we, we tried to rectify one of the things we weren't happy with against Toulon. We gave the Cheetahs and the Kings the respect that they deserved, whilst also you know, doing one or two small things in preparation for Racing Metro. The Cheetahs game was massively important to us because we respect them as a team and the threats that they bring. Also, they can punish you if, if you're not up to it. And, um, and we played for our quarter final at, at Thurman Park, which was very important to us. And you know, um, all credit to to the assistant coaches and the management staff and the players who dug in the heels and kept and stuck it out for a tough last 10 minutes. And you know, lucky enough to win that game. And the celebrations at the end was that because <coughs> of things that came right? Was it because of the achievement? Was it just? the emotional high of having a tour and winning two games. Where did those celebrations come from? I think it's it's a bit of everything. Um, like I said before, we, we, you know, when you put your heart into something and, we, and you achieve it, you, you, you enjoy it. And as I said before, you know, rugby is first and foremost our, our passion. And, you know, if, if you're successful, you, you must enjoy wins. Um, and maybe just because it was such a titanic battle, you know, the Cheetahs are such a quality team and they really put you under pressure in Bloemfontein. It was a, a very unique experience for Munster to two to tour for two weeks. Um, and we made 10 and, and 9 changes to the team to really use your squad. So I'm you know, just glad for, for everybody involved to, to get that win and to get a quarter final at Thurman Park. Um, that's where we love to play. And, you know, like I said before, um, that was our aim to. to get points on this tour to get our quarter-final. Do you think fatigue could be an issue this weekend, given that you know, you've had to go to South Africa and play two tough games? I know you made changes, but guys were maybe knocked out of their usual preparations for a Champions Cup semi-final or a semi-final or a big game. Yeah, it's not something that you can control. You know, we were the only team that were given this fixture list, so we just embrace it. Um, the mind's a very powerful thing. We just use it as a positive. Um, we had time together. You know, like I said before, we're building relationships and generally just talking about rugby and, and spending time preparing. So, um, you know, we, we got back on Sunday afternoon, the guys were with their families for two nights and we got back in this morning as usual, start at zero. Um, you know, it's a Champions Cup semi-final week, but we treat every week the same, prepare well. On our off day, we'll get away from rugby, fly out on Saturday and... I think it's important not to play the game before it's actually being played on Sunday afternoon to make sure that we are ready to go on quarter past four on Sunday. You've played you know, Racing quite a, there's a famous, There's a famous saying uh, from ABBA, the winner takes it all. And it is. this is what's going to happen actually at the weekend, isn't it? Racing and yourselves, you're no strangers to each other. And um, you've played part, you've played twice already this season. Uh, you won one, they won one. So it's honours even going into this big match. Yeah, it's a semi-final. Um, you know, I don't think that anything that happened before and will have any bearing on, on this game. Semi-finals are very strange things. Um, you need to at your best to be at your best to to win a semi-final. 
Now you need to be able to absorb a lot of pressure and you need to convert your opportunities into points. Um, and you need to make sure at the end of the game you've got more points on the board than your position. Now it's a, a cruel game, a, a semi-final, because you're so close. If you win it, you're in, in the Champions Cup final in Spain. If you lose it, you, you came so close. So. Um, our focus is totally on ourselves. We do give Racing Metro a lot of respect because they're a world-class team. We just had to look at their results over the last few months and where they sit in the, in the top 14. You know, the, the coaching staff have been there for quite a while now and you know they've got world-class players all across the park. So massive, massive assignment for us to go into France and you know hopefully beat Racing in, in France. So. Um, looking forward to it. Johan, what are the lessons you've learned from that loss to Racing in the EU Arena? I think we didn't start well. Um, you know, we, we always have the ability to come back. Racing will always have magic moments. Um, they've got so many quality players in your team, so you need to stay mentally in that game. I don't know if you remember that game. But in the last 20, they were in front, we were in front, they were in front, we were in front. Use your opportunities. We have one opportunity uh, of an inside pass that didn't go to hand, which would give enough. So our fourth try on a 10 point lead with about 20 to go. Two goal kicks hit the post, so all small moments. Um, on the flip side, you know, they also could have scored a, a try there two minutes to the end, so use your opportunities against them because you might not have that many. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you, John.